Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you the wind-up hand loop, which hits 3 to 5 cards depending on your hand. For the sake of just hitting 5 cards, I've opened up with my complete hand loop hand. So let's get started. First off, you summon Tour Guide. Assuming they don't have Valor or Shockmaster Field, you would summon your Tour Bus. And overlay for your Zen Mighty. And then use this effects to summon Wind Up Magician from your deck. After you su summon Wind Up Magician, you reveal your Shark and special summon it. And trigger your Magician's effect to summon another one. And this is in defense for you. And after you do that, you level down shark and you summon the single hunter from your deck using your second magician's effect so you'll use hunter's effect to tribute carrier and send to the extra using two robust's effect so that's one card uh... how should i keep track of cards? okay let's put one there One. One. Oh yeah. yeah, one. And then you'll overlay the shark and the hunter for another carrier. You'll use its effects, detach, get your rat, switch your rat to defense mode, summon your hunter, and there you go, boom, second card, two. And here's where it gets weird. We're gonna overlay these two for where is he? Diagusto Emeralds. We'll use Emerald Effects to send uh one, two, and three. We'll shuffle, draw a card. Overlay for another Zen Mighty. Use effects. Trigger Factory's effect. I'm gonna add a shark to our hand. And then we'll summon a rat. Ne next up, we'll send the rat to defense mode. And we'll summon our hunter. And then we'll use hunter's effect to hit the third card and uh, we're gonna summon our shark with the hunter's effects and then we're going to uh, let's see monster reborn our two of us and exceed these two or not these two excuse me we're gonna exceed these two and overlay and we'll grab something that can detach so we'll just grab this guy and we'll detach this and send this to the extra oh did I even send my monster one to the graveyard? my bad so we'll just send this to the graveyard overlay get our zen mighty Use effects. Whoops, wrong catch. Overlay and get rid of this. And we'll bring out the rat. And use rat's effects and summon hunter. And use hunter's effects. Send those to the grave. We hit four cards so far, and then we'll use Pot of Avarice, send this to the extra, top, 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 and shuffle, overlay, and then we'll grab the Zen Mighty, uh, where is he? 
but why banish him on accident? Okay. And Zen Mighty mount up effects. We'll grab our wind up rats. Send him to defense mode. And special summon hunter and tribute him for the last card. We'll overlay these guys and we will make something like I don't know Tem Tempo. We'll make Acid Golem just because you can. And there you go guys, we hit five cards using the wind up loop. And uh just some notes. If you open these two with uh two magicians no, wait, two sharks and a uh, tour guide, then you can do it. Otherwise, you need some turn setups to use Ivaris and stuff. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. You don't have to open Factory, but it's good that you can. You can run Instant Fusion to get the extra monster in the graveyard to use Ivaris and stuff. And, yeah, usually when you open up Magician Shark, you go Shockmaster, and that's a good thing to do. But if, if I open up Tour Guide and Shark, then I'd go for Hand Loop, because I like to have more control. And with with just Tour Guide, Shark, and just nothing else, you can just st you can still loop three cards without the Avarice and the Reborn and the Factory. So, yeah, that's a, a really good thing to know. And, yeah. There you go. There you guys go. This is September format, and I'm hitting five cards still. So wind up loop is still here, guys. Still fear it, and there it is. Thanks for watching, guys.